Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how your first app is like your first car. All right, so do you remember your first car? The first car you've ever owned yourself, right? Mine was like this flashy red Subaru, right? I was 19 years old. I may have been 19 or 20, right? I was in the army. I got stationed at my first duty station in Hawaii and I wanted to have, I wanted to have my own car. I wanted to have the independence. I just got my license not that long before. So I went down to the used car lot and I looked at all the cars and of course, you know, there's always a really cheap one, like $500, $600, the kind of just breaks down all the time, the old, you know, it's, it's really old car. And then I saw this flashy one for like $3,000, which was still not a lot of money back then, but I had to take out a loan because I wasn't being paid that much. So I wanted to go for the flashy red one, right? I didn't want to get one of those old beat up cars, right? I wanted the, the nice looking one. So I took out a loan, right? I wanted one that got the ladies, I guess that is what I say. I guess that's really what it was. So. So I took out a loan and I got the really nice car. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, when I say really nice, it's comparatively, like it was, it was used, it was several years old, but it looked flashier than the other, so I paid extra, right? So I drove this thing around for not very long before it broke down. It, it, it still broke down all the time, right? But I got to the point where it just, I, it broke down and I couldn't fix it anymore. So I took it to the shop and they say, you know, you burnt out your whole engine. You blew your head gasket because you, you haven't put any oil in the car. And I said, look, I check the oil all the time. You know, I know that I'm supposed to check the oil. I check the dipstick, I do all the stuff. And the guy goes into the, he opens up the hood. He goes in and he checks and he reaches down and finds a dipstick that was not the one that I was using. I think I was checking the transmission fluid. I know I should have read the book. I was an idiot. I was like 19, 20, whatever. He rolls in, pulls out another one and it's bone dry and I've completely burnt out the inside of the engine. So within like just a few months, my car was no longer usable. I had like two years, two and a half years of this loan to pay off because I went for the flashy car before I really knew anything. And of course there was, and that's still all the other, you know, parked too close to a post. So you, you put a scratch on it there, a ding in it there, all that kind of stuff. Your first car, that's the one that you mess up all the time. I'm having this conversation with my kids too. They say they want the flashy car. I'm thinking, you know, get, just get, get something so until you get really good at driving because that your first one's the one. If you're going to mess up at all, it's probably going to be on the first car. Now, what does that have to do with apps? I say the same things to, to developers, right? Get an app on the market, right? You have your big idea and you need to put it out there. But a lot of times you're going to find out things with, you know, th that first app is the one you're going to make mistakes on. It's the one you're going to, you're going to have, you know, you're, you can't figure out how to deploy it. You might deploy it. It might have some issues with rejections or whatever. All, yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's the one you're going to learn with. You're going to start figuring out how people use things. And when you put out your second one, you're going to have all that experience to go from that to that one. Now, that's not to say if you hire someone to do the app for you, you expect them to have that experience already, right? They, you, you expect them to already have gone through that process, which is I have hired developers in the past who, who did not know how to release an app to the app store, despite the fact that they were experts, right? It was ridiculous. When we actually went time to go live, they couldn't figure out how to do the signing certificates. They didn't know how to do anything. I had one developer uh, lose my key store file. I mean, it was my first developers. They, they lost the key store file. Nobody knows whatever happened to it. So releasing the second version, we had to release another one, all this kind of stuff. So like if you hire someone, you expect them to have that experience to have had their first car already. It's like, you know, having a driver, they already know. But if you're releasing your first one, it goes back to yesterday when I was talking about perfectionism, right? You don't, part of the process of putting, of releasing an app or, or putting an app on the app store is going live. So you don't, you can't become an expert before you go live is when you go live. That's when you start to get the feedback. It's like when you behi get behind the wheel of your own car, that's when you start to realize, you know, the feel for it, you know, how, how much distance you have between things, not bumping into things, not, you know, grinding the transmission, all that kind of stuff. Right? So today, I mean, it's a really simple one. Nice Sunday video to compare your first app with your first car, right? You, I think it's more important to get something on the app market, to get something released, to start finding, getting user, get, getting user feedback than it is to make everything perfect, to invest all your life savings into something, unless you hire a developer and they know what they're doing, right? They know what they're doing, put something on the app store and they've done it before and they, they can help you with that, that learning. That, that's why you hire professionals for anything. That's why, 
I could I could retile my bathroom and I have done, right? But it was a mess, right? But if I hired a professional, I expect that they tiled bathrooms before, they know what to look for, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, kind of all over the place again today. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.